Death, taxes, Justin Bieber sucks, and Alabama wins football national championships. That right there are four guarantees in life. And Bama, of course, coming off another national championship by beating Clemson. And, you know, I'm sure Nick Saban had a smile on his face after the game that lasted about five seconds, thinking about how he can win another one. And despite lots of losses on both sides of the ball, Bama once again is going to be a big-time contender. And again, Nick Saban will have to deal with the issue of who his new starting quarterback will be. Certainly not an easy decision awaiting offensive coordinator Lane Kiffin or head coach Saban. you got four legitimate candidates for that spot. If you had to split Harris, Cooper Bateman is the only one of the four who played college football a year ago. Yeah, Bateman did see playing time last year, but very seldom because of the fine play of Jake Coker. In fact, Bateman threw only 52 passes, completed 38 of them. Cornwall is known as more of a pro-style quarterback, while Barnett and Hurts are more of your mobile-type QBs. Running game... Heisman Trophy winner is gone in Derrick Henry, and so was his backup in the form of Kenyon Drake. So now, stepping as the one-two punch will be Bo Scarborough and Damian Harris. Tied in, one of the best around in O.J. Howard. Just ask Clemson how good Howard was. Had a huge game last year in the national championship. And the receivers, a lot more solidified there. Of course, Calvin Ridley, he's a big-time threat. Last year as a freshman, did a lot of spectacular things. Offensive line has some revamping to do, but you return Cam Robinson, one of the best left tackles in all of college football. Does not look like he'll face suspension after his arrest in May for both weapon as well as uh, drug possession charge. Instead of saying to hell with their senior year, Bamba defensive players Jonathan Allen, Tim Williams, Ruben Foster, Ryan Anderson, and Eddie Jackson decided to come back for their senior year and try to win one more national championship. And as you can tell during this segment, you're going to see some defensive players lost from last year's national championship team. But the biggest loss was the coordinator. That's Kirby Smart, now head coach of Georgia. Jeremy Pruitt now takes over the D. Remember, the tie defense was number one in rush D a year ago. And Jonathan Allen and Dalvin Tomlinson, the two DEs, were a big reason why. Ruben Foster will now move to middle linebacker. And Eddie Jackson, speaking of moving last year, he adjusted from the corner to safety quite well with six interceptions. What the, what the hell is this? What that slight beer? Yeah, I weigh 90 damn pounds, and you bring me this slopping. You know Bama's going to get everybody's hardest punch. Of course, a lot of those games for the Tide are away from Tuscaloosa. And that includes early November with a trip to Baton Rouge against the Tigers. Keep in mind, though, that Bama's had tough schedules in the past and for the most part has passed with flying colors. Again, Saban's team's going to win a lot of games this year. There will be one loss along the way. There's just too many difficult road games to not expect at least one loss. But as long as they get to the SEC championship game and win it, you can rest assured that Bama will again be a part of the playoff party.